Mm. There's still plenty, plenty to eat mm. in here. But, uh, I mean, look at that. Loads of grass. Mm. Thick grass. Mm. Loads and loads mm. of it. But, mm. I'm gonna mm. let them into a fresh area. Mm. Loads of grass. Mm. They're actually already at the gate. Why is it that livestock know what you're gonna do? They're at the gate. Bold. We're not herding here. They're coming of their own cord. Look at this, browsing the trees. They love browse. There's loads of clover and plantain. You can see the clover is doing really well. There's, there's dandelion, plantain, clover, Another kind of dandelion, another kind of plantain. See, there's one plantain, and there's another plantain. Two different kinds of plantains. One, two different kinds of dandelions, just in that small spot, patch. And then for clovers, let's see, there's, there's one clover has the um, white ring on it, and another clover doesn't. So here you can see that's a different clover. You can see it's the white rim is really showing. So there's the white rimmed clover. So, and yes, there are docks. These are dock leaves high in vitamins and minerals and iron. And because it's not fertilized, they'll eat it. So that's what a diverse sward looks like. Different kinds of plantains, different kinds of dandelions, different kinds of clovers, different kinds of grasses, and different kinds of brows. They've left this tree. They're heading into all the clovers and herbs. And if you look under here, what that lamb right in front of us is eating are the plum seedlings. You can see the kind of purple. These are, these are plum seedlings when plums fell and um, were stimulated to grow, having a lovely time. Look at that, that's top knot. Having a delicious time eating the plum seedlings. So a very, very diverse source of food for all the sheep in here. Delicious, nutritious, etc. And you're bold, aren't you? You were bold earlier this morning. Oh, look, and there's daisies as well. There's daisies. They're not opened yet. So that's what a biodiverse sward is like. And we even have a thistle. Not something I want too many of because they can give sheep orf. Because when the pricks puncture their skin, it can um, give them orf. And orf is a pain in the ass, is all I can say. There's Yo, browsing that um, scrub plum all the way over there. So they're all having a wonderful time in here. So many things to stimulate their taste buds and eating. Just what you want. 
They're all rushing around trying to get the most best bits, beating their friends and neighbors.